Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Elizabeth Cady Stanton was a feminist who fought for women's suffrage. She was born in 1815 in Jamestown, New York, and married Henry B. Stanton, an abolitionist, in 1840 against her father's wishes. During her honeymoon in London, they visited the world's anti-slavery convention. Here, she met Lucretia Mott, America's leading female abolitionist. Soon thereafter, Elizabeth began to study women's rights. She was the mother of seven children, Elizabeth Stanton, but soon began to resent her domestic life. In 1848, Stanton and Mott organized the first women's rights convention, which was held in Seneca Falls, New York. Stanton wanted one of the convention's goals to be voting rights for women. In 1851, Stanton met Susan B. Anthony, and they formed a lifelong partnership based on their desires to raise women's status. During the Civil War, Stanton and Anthony, Anthony formed the National Women's League, an organization that fought to end slavery using the Constitution as support for their claims. After the war ended, the two women caused conflict when they tried to link the efforts of suffrage for women and African Americans. They were determined to use the Constitution as a means to secure voting. Consequently, they established the National Woman Suffrage Association in 1869. This organization helped secure the 19th Amendment. However, it was not ratified until 1920. Stanton was an advocate for divorce, believed in reproductive freedom, and wanted more freedom for women, all of which caused conflict. Christian organization opposed her agenda, and she soon found herself opposed to Susan B. Anthony. Although many disagreed with her ideas, she kept fighting for the causes she believed in, including suffrage, until she died in 1902.